Howdy, let's take a look at one last problem in order to ensure we really know how to utilize our polar coordinates. And so taking a look at this last one, it says that a small object of mass m is on a frictionless surface. Because of a complicated force that acts on the object, it moves so that its distance from the origin is observed to be h cosine theta. And so in this case, your r is going to be h cosine theta where h is known and theta is shown below. Theta is observed to vary according to the following equation. So theta of t is c1t cubed, where c1 is known. Consider the motion only until the object reaches the origin. And in part a, find the object's velocity as a function of time. So what I need is I'm going to find my vr and my v theta. VR is dr dt, and V theta is your r omega. Now, we already saw that r is h cosine theta, and if I want to find omega, omega is your d theta dt, and the derivative of theta with respect to t is simply just 3 c1 t squared. So I've got r, I've got omega, I've got to find dr dt. And once again, if your r is changing with respect to theta, which you're going to do 100% of the time, is you're going to say that dr dt is dr d theta times d theta dt. Now dr d theta is a derivative of r with respect to theta, which is a negative h sine theta. And d theta dt is, well, we already found it, 3 c1 t squared. Now that you have r, now that you have omega, and now that you have dr dt, just plug and chug into your vr, which is your dr dt, and your v theta, which is r omega. So now that I have that for part a, for part b, it says find the torque about the origin that is exerted on the object as a function of time. Now we already saw that torque you know, torque is R crossed with F, and the magnitude of your torque is always going to be R times F theta. And so, F theta is going to be your M times your 2 times dr dt omega plus R alpha. Omega we've already got, 3C1T squared. Alpha, the derivative of that, is 6C1T. And then as for the dr dt, we have that as well, your dr dt is negative h sine theta times the 3 c1 t squared. So you just plug and chug. Your torque, your torque is r times f theta, so your r is h cosine theta. Your f theta is m times your 2 dr dt times your omega plus my r times alpha. And then after that, I just multiplied it together and combined like terms.